So, um, of course, we're trying to flash Ubuntu Touch uh, to our um, OnePlus One. But what they actually didn't tell us is that we needed to install Team Win Recovery Project first before we uh, we could go through the install process. So if we install Team Win Recovery Project and then come back and run the UV ports installer, remember we're using that beta version so it will detect our phone and we are connecting our device. So my device showed up over there. Um, we hit that install button reminding us that there's a note of the problem. Please connect our device to the USB cable, which it already is. There we go, it's flashing recovery and boot images, waiting for device to enter recovery mode, downloading Ubuntu Touch. And so now it's actually going online, downloading some information, and it's going to flash that to the phone. So I just wanted you to see this, uh, this process in a little more detail. Um, and just something to think about if you too are considering alternatives. Now, building alternatives such as Ubuntu Touch, uh, KDE Plasma, and those sort of things um, typically have instructions in their platform manifest that you can look at just like the instructions you saw for building Android. Um, and that's a fairly um, niche group, but, uh, you know, it's gaining popularity. And so something to consider if uh, you've built Android a couple of times and you're looking for something a little more advanced uh, to do um, to increase your hobby uh, or to hone your craft, uh, you might want to consider checking out building something like these alternatives, uh, such as Sailfish, um, uh, Ubuntu Touch, uh, KDE Plasma, or those sort of things for a phone. So I just wanted to include that so you guys could uh, mold that over, think about it, um, and consider what else you could do with your phone. Uh, actually, originally, the very first project I did uh, with an Android phone was turn it into a, a Debian computer. And so um, just things to think about, fun projects that you could do as well.